Hi friends, thank you for watching my video. Uh, this is my blog econo on economic finance risks blogspot.com and I cover topics related to financial risk management, applied economics dynamics, econometrics because I am a finance major, finance and investment major with the MBA and also an economics guy. So I have a combination of both and I'm also looking for financial risk management part one and part two and all the Okay, this video, uh, I'll talk about Lokta Volterra equation, how you create this fascinating looking graph. It's, uh, I would say fascinating looking spiral, or this circle, uh, and this fluctuating plot. How you create this. Before that, you have to pause my video and you have to go through all what I have written. And you will have to try to understand. It's all right if you don't get it in detail, but you have to understand like the intuition behind it, right? So for intuition, you have to read this portion. What it says. Now, <clears throat> let's go to the Excel. I've already created an Excel for you. Now I'm just going to explain how you. How, what are the formulas I jotted down here uh, in put it in this Excel. Now see you have a time x, y, x dot, y dot and all those parameter here. So first thing first you have to write down the values of parameter, right? And you are, I believe you are very well familiar with alpha, beta, gamma and delta and if you are not you have to go back in my blog and you have to read it what, what it they stands for. And you see this, uh, there is a one thing called delta t. Delta T is a time step, which we'll use to progress the time. And I have, uh, I have simulated this graph up from time zero to time two with a time step of 0 0.01. And and there is anything called SSX, that is the steady state value of X. SSY, that is steady state value of Y. And I have uh, calculated with these based upon some formula. As you see in my blog, here is a formula for the steady state. It says that y is equal to alpha by beta and x is equal to gamma by delta. So y is alpha by beta and x is gamma by delta. That comes around 20 and 10. And x naught and y naught are initial values. So, for the time zero, we have to give this initial value. And as we progress, we calculate this based upon the Euler system. You have to go and search Google what is Euler system. The Euler system is you progress with along with the time step and there is some formula to progress on the Euler system. You will find it out when you search and see how to progress or how to increase the time step or how to increase the variable as for the time step using Euler method. And <clears throat> it's x dot. x dot you can see in my blog I, there's initially from the start x dot has been defined at x multiplied to alpha minus beta into y. So x dot is x into alpha minus beta into y, right? And y dot is minus y gamma minus delta into x minus y gamma minus delta into x. So you write, you generate these values by multiplying with all these parameters and these values, right? But remember that this you have to write initial value first. Now, <clears throat> let's say we start from steady state. This is the magic I'm going to show you now. Write the value of x as 20. See, there is a change in the graph, something moment, but don't worry, you'll see more interesting thing now. And you write the steady x is 20 and y is 11. See, x is 20 in steady state value of 10. Uh, Study set value of y is 10 
So you put it, see, so this shows what does the steady state. That means if you start, if you are in a steady state, you are going to be in that point forever. Remember, now let's say slightly uh, in some due to some circumstances or some kind of situation, you happen to be, or uh, the prey happened, the number of prey happened to be outside the steady state, 0 0.05. Let's see. Now say it will be back into that spiral and this plot will start to fluctuate slightly. And if you increase this, 0 0.05, 10 then you see more fluctuations so what it says is that if you want to have a very balanced interaction between x and y prey and predator and if you are in steady state you will remain there for ever but that's not possible in the, in the very real scenario so we what we try to do is that we try to have a policy intervention or the intervention in the in, uh, in the forest. Uh, if you are talking about predator and prey, and if you are talking about the competition model, they will try to maintain the competition in such a way that the values remain in a steady state, or you try to be closer to a steady state as much as possible. So, I'll try to write this. Lotta Volterra equation in my next video on Mathematica and I'll draw I'll show you like how this interesting looking spiral thing and this, this fluctuating thing will can be shown in the very very fascinating looking this 3D plot and I believe you know now how to do it in Excel right so you can go up number of times, like you can go up to number of times, like I, I was, I simulated up to three, now you can go up to four, five, six, you can increase or decrease your time step depending upon the accuracy, because smaller the time step, accurate your results will be. So thank you for watching my video and see you next time. Thanks. Hi friends, thank you for watching my video. Uh, this is my blog on economic finance risks blogspot.com and I cover topics related to financial risk management, applied economics, dynamics, econometrics because I am a finance major, finance and investment major with the MBA and also an economics guy. So I have a combination of both and I'm also looking for financial risk management part one and part two and all the Okay, this video uh, I'll talk about Lokta Volterra equation, how you create this fascinating looking graph. I would say fascinating looking spiral, this circle, and this fluctuating plot. How you create this. Before that, you have to pause my video and you have to go through all what I have written and you have to try to understand. It's all right if you don't get it in detail but you have to understand like the intuition behind it right so for intuition you have to read this portion what it says now <clears throat> let's go to the excel i've already created an excel for you now i'm just going to explain how you are uh, what are the formulas i jotted down here uh, and put it in this excel now, see, you have a time x, y, x dot, y dot, and all those parameters here. So, first thing first, you have to write down the values of parameter, right? And you are, I believe you are very well familiar with alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And if you are not, you have to go back in my blog and you have to read it, what, what it they stands for. And you see, this, there is a one thing called delta t. Delta t is a time step which we'll use to progress the time and i have uh, so i have simulated this graph of from time zero to time two with a time step of 0 0.01 and and there is anything called ssx that's the steady state value of x 
s is y that is steady state value of y and i have uh, calculated with these based upon some formula as you see in my blog here is a formula for the steady state it says that y is equal to alpha by beta and x is equal to gamma by delta so y is alpha by beta and x is gamma by delta that comes around 20 and 10 and x naught and y naught are initial values so for the time zero we have to give this initial value and as we progress we calculate this based upon the Euler system you have to go and search Google what is Euler system the Euler system is you progress with along with the time step and there is some formula to progress on the Euler system you'll find it out when you search and see how to progress or how to increase the time step or how to increase the variable as for the time step using Euler method and it's x dot x dot you can see in my blog uh, there's initially from the start x dot has been defined at x multiplied to alpha minus beta into y so x dot is x into alpha minus beta into y right and y dot is minus y gamma minus delta into x minus y gamma minus delta into x so you write you generate these values by multiplying this all these parameters and these values right but remember that this you have to write the initial value first now <clears throat> let's say we start from steady set this is a magic I'm going to show you now write the value of x as 20 see there is a change in the graphs and something moment but don't worry you'll see more interesting thing now and you write the steady x is 20 and y is 11 see x is 20 in a steady state value of 10 and a steady state value of y is 10 so you put it see so this shows what does the s steady state that means if you start if you are in a steady state you are going to be in that point forever remember now let's say you slightly are in some due to some circumstances or some kind of situation you happen to be or the prey happen the number of prey happen to be outside the steady state 0 0.05 let's see now say it will be back into that spiral and this plot will start to fluctuate slightly and if you increase this 0 0.05 to 10 then you will see more fluctuations so what it says is that if you want to have a very balanced interaction between x and y prey and predator and if you are in steady state you will remain there for ever but that's not possible in the, in the very real scenario so we what we try to do is that we try to have a policy intervention or the intervention in the in, uh, in the forest uh, if you are talking about predator and prey and if you are talking about the competition model they will try to maintain the competition in such a way that the values remain in the steady state or you try to be closer to a steady state as much as possible so I'll try to write this Lotta Volterra equation in my next video on Mathematica and I'll draw I'll show you like how this interesting looking spiral thing and this fluctuating thing will can be shown in the very very fascinating looking this 3d plot and I believe you know now how to do it in Excel right so you can go up the number of times like you can go up the number of times like I, I was I simulated up to three now you can go up to four five six 
you can increase or decrease your time step depending upon the accuracy because smaller the time step accurate your results will be so thank you for watching my video and see you next time thanks